Hey, welcome back. This is Hired Done. I'm your host, Adam Helfman. It's time to be green. What does being green mean? How about being environmentally responsible? How about just being smart with uh, something that is always around us and that we don't utilize properly? That's why uh, sometimes the light bulb goes on and it's almost like, you know, everybody, when people throw their garbage out of their house, everyone has the blue like recycle bin. How many people actually use it? That's the problem. I don't see a lot of them anymore out there. So, you know, these products are made and they're only as good as the people using it, but sometimes products come along and they're like, wow, this makes perfect sense. And so with that being said, joining me on the Higher Time Radio Show is John Murasan of Mr. Rain Barrel. Good morning, John. Good morning, Adam. How are you today? I'm very good. Good. Thanks for coming on the show. Let's tell everyone who's listening, what is Mr. Rain Barrel? Well, Mr. Rain Barrel's in the business of uh, harvesting rainwater. Um, it's pretty amazing what you can do with a downspout in a 55-gallon repurposed barrel. You know, it's funny. So, for theater of the mind, for people who need to envision it, obviously the website is mrrainbarrel.com, and then you can see a perfect picture of it, but for people who are listening right now, uh, the rain barrel is a 55-gallon repurposed yes, drum, yes. which means you they, they're used, cleaned out, and ready. Yeah, my, my barrels, uh, they originally had soy sauce in them, and uh, they flushed them out. Um, I flushed them out, and uh, we drilled a few holes and modified them a little bit and uh, mount them up on a cinder block and... You ready there you to go. go. Yeah. Okay, so rain barrel. Why would someone use a rain barrel for your house? Okay, let's talk about it. Rain comes down your roof, yes. into your gutters, and then yes. down the downspout and onto the ground. Yes. Okay, so you have the rain barrel that goes... Against. All we're doing is just collecting it, uh, preventing it from going down uh, your driveway into the sewers, you know, getting mixed up with uh, raw sewage, and, and you're putting the water back in the ground where it belongs, which is by your house. Okay, so you got a 55 gallon drum, folks, where the rainwater is going into it. Now you got a drum full of water. What are you going to use the water for? Well, uh, we primarily use it for our shrubs, um, our uh, potted plants, raised gardens. Uh, it's not, uh, it doesn't have the capacity to use it for watering lawns. Uh, I try to stay away from uh, hooking pumps up to it and things like that because I think that just kind of takes away from the whole. Process. Right. It's a natural way of collecting water. Right. You're reusing uh, a product so that it's easy. Uh, you use it to water your plants. Think about it. If someone had the city water or whatever water they're using, it, it saves money. Cause you're, yes. And I love the way you said it. You're harvesting rainwater. Well, you know, and the other thing that people have to realize when you buy city water, okay, you're buying the water, okay, and then you're using it to water your lawn, but you're also buying the waste treatment part of it. And it's not... You know, the stuff that you put, the, the rainwater, I mean, the city water that you put on your grass is not going back to the waste treatment plant. So you're getting a double hit on your water. Yeah, you are, for sure. So uh, people who want to buy this or want to see what it looks like, first go to MrRainBarrel.com. If they want to call you, it's 248-909-1188. Yes. How'd you get in the business? Uh, my girlfriend, uh, she, Aileen, she uh, is an avid gardener. She just kept uh, she asked me, can I cut your beds out a little bit? And I said, sure. So the next thing I know, she's cutting them out, cutting them out, cutting them out. I ended up with a postage stamp size lawn. Uh, <laughs> and so we started running drip line systems through the whole uh, beds, and I put that on city water. And um, it, uh, it, it, long story short, it cost a lot of money to water it. So I said, something has to be done. So uh, we started experimenting with rain barrels. And I bought a few of these rain barrels online. I really wasn't real happy with them. They, you can't piggyback them up. They broke. They, you know, there's right. all these kind of little things that went wrong with it. So I just modified my own. And you, you have a sealed unit. It's a really cool. Folks, I, I urge you to go to MrRainBarrel.com uh, to check it out. Someone who wants to buy one, uh, turnkey, they just want to get one that's all ready to go. They buy it from you on the website. Yep, yep, yep. They can buy it from me on the website. I have some simple instructions on how to mount it, how to... Uh, and they're pretty, uh, you can leave them out. You can leave them out for the winter. You just take the brass valve off. I've, I've really uh, put mine through the ringer this year. I filled them. I let them fill up with water, see what happens. Uh, froze solid. Um, spring came along. 
they melted, your they melted everything was fine so they they were good to go they're very strong barrels they're they're they've been industrial. designed really yeah they're industrial barrels now what about the block the concrete blocks you just go to any hardware store yeah those just... are two uh those are half inch uh i mean uh half cinder blocks that i mount them on and then the uh the pads are uh air conditioner concrete pans i call okay. it the concrete sandwich or the... right i'm looking at it in the picture it's awesome so folks here's the deal you want to uh, harvest some rainwater. You want to water your plants. You yeah. want to be eco friendly. It's it's just really what it is. Yeah, it's a smart way to well, go. Well, this year I've harvested a thousand gallons of water. Yeah, the other day we had a lot of rain. Yeah, I just got two hundred gallons that day. That, that so that filled up for a quarter inch of rain will fill a barrel. Wow. So you know you do the math, and over the year, I mean, last year I I harvested. 3,000 gallons of water. Now, if, if it's full and the water keeps coming. It's got an overflow hose Okay, it does. That's what I mean. And then you at. just run that back off into your beds. Right. Smart. MrRainBarrel.com. I love that. 55-gallon uh, barrel, what's the cost on it? 135 Okay. Now, if someone needs help, uh, is it delivered? Is it? I can. I deliver it up and down that Woodward Avenue corridor, about 25-mile radius. Other than that, we figure it out. And, uh, and I can install them, too, for you. I love it. Awesome. Well, it's a good product. I, you brought one into the studio. I'm like, kind of cool. You got a Facebook page, Mr. Rain Facebook Barrel? page, yep. You so, become a fan of Mr. Rain Barrel. I urge everyone to go on the uh, go on the website and check it out. Uh, if you're into being green, if you're into being eco-friendly, yep. if you're into this, I am. I'm going to have to get one for me. And it's an inexpensive way to get involved in this, too, you know, without buying... A wind generator or a you know solar plant. Or right, right. Those are thousands and thousands. Yeah, this, yeah, this is, is you know you're, you're you're done, which is good. All right. Well, thank you. Thanks for coming on the show. Uh, thank you. Adam. Yeah, I'm a little note to my producer. We should have him come back. Schedule him to come back. I like this. I want to talk more about this. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to make a list of ten things everyone should do around their house to be more eco friendly. One of them will be the rain barrel. That's what we're going to do. Have an eco friendly event. I like that. You're you're at like the farmers markets and you're yeah. I do a lot of the green breeze. I'm going to be there. I uh, recycle Royal Oak. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, so there's a. I do the uh, green cruise. Uh, really? So I'm around town. Awesome. Well, folks, that's going to do it for another week in a hard done. And we hope you've done our job by leaving you with some valuable information to improve and protect your home with Mr. Rain Barrel. That's actually a good product. Everyone, you should check it out online, MrRainBarrel.com. Uh, thanks to uh, Lori, my producer.